Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. This is an interactive video lesson about how to solve two-step equations with fractional coefficients. So what's going to happen is we're going to do two problems together. So take notes with me and then you have a chance to pause the video and try some problems in on your own. And then finally you can see how you did. All right. So for this problem, we have three fourths n plus 10 equals 19. And for this problem, we have one half n minus three equals negative eight. And notice both of these have fractional coefficients. Well, this one over here is three quarters and this one over here is one half, okay? So we're actually gonna solve these problems at the same time, all right? So the first step you wanna do is get rid of the constant, right? So the opposite of adding 10 is taking away 10. So I'm gonna take away 10 from both sides of the equation for this problem. And when I do that, I end up with 3 fourths n equals nine because 19 take away 10 is nine. And then over here, the opposite of taking away three is adding three. So I'm gonna add three to both sides. And we end up with one half times a number equals, well, negative eight plus three gives us negative five. All right, so we're halfway there. So the next step is we have to, okay, isolate the n. Right? So remember, this is 3 fourths times n. So the opposite of times n, okay, is dividing. And remember, the way you divide fractions is you multiply by the reciprocal. So the reciprocal of 3 fourths is 4 thirds. Now, it's really important to understand why this is happening, okay? Remember, when you multiply a number by its reciprocal, you end up with 1. Because think about this 4 times 3 gives us 12, right? and three times four gives us 12, and 12 divided by 12 gives us one, right? So really these actually cancel out, and what, what's left is just one n. But remember, what you do to one side, you gotta do to the other side. So I'm gonna multiply nine times four thirds, and really this is nine over one, okay? And I can cross reduce, I can make this three a one, and make this nine a three, right? And then finally, three times four gives us 12. So our first solution is n equals 12. So now let's do the same thing over here, but this time we have one half times n now equals negative five, right? So I need to now divide both sides by one half, which is really multiplying by two over one. Like that. And remember, these now will cancel out. And what's left over is just this n, right? And then negative five times two can really be written as negative five over one, right? And negative five times two would give us negative 10. So that's our second solution. And there you go. So what I want you to do is I want you to pause the video and try the your turn now problems. Okay, and then when you're done, hit play and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say you do these practice problems. So to give give us a little jump start, I've already done the first part of each problem, okay? So for the first one, I subtracted three from both sides, right? And now I have four fifths n equals 12. And this one over here, I subtracted one from both sides. So now we have one third n equals negative seven, all right? So the next step is I need to now divide both sides by four fifths. So by doing that, I'm gonna multiply both sides by five over four. And remember, these cancel out now, right? That's the point of the move. So now we have n equals, and then what you do to one side, you gotta do to the other side. So I'm gonna multiply this side by five over four. And now I can cross reduce. So make this a one and make this a three. And now three times five gives us 15. So your first solution should have been n equals 15. All right, now the second part over here Again, we have one third n now equals negative seven. So again, we need now to divide both sides by one third, which is really multiplying by the reciprocal of one third, which is three over one. So now when I do this, these cancel out. We now end up with n equals 
negative 7 times 3 is negative 21. And there's your solution to that problem. All right, how'd you do?